Jokmox back again. This time I've been on a Packcraft tour with some friends. I'm a beginner with these Packcraft tours. I have been doing a lot of canoeing and mountain hiking and all that things, but Packcraft is totally new for me. In the end of this video, we are going through my equipment and I will talk about what was too much, what did I miss and what did I actually bring on this tour. But first, the intro and then the video from the tour. Let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Today I'm on a tour from Maitum and we'll see how far we reach. We're going downstream along the upper river. On this tour uh, Andrea who lives in Jokmok is following in the green packraft and then two friends from Stockholm. Uh, Melina and uh, Mikael is follow Ox also. We probably <laughs> took the wrong one. There's a small one here and a bigger over there. And we should have been taking the big one, probably. was the first small portage where we had to walk on the land.
here we have a beaver place probably sitting here maybe it's not super fresh but There have been some beavers there. Here we have another beaver cabin. You can actually smell from them. It's going great. Yeah, it's going great. <laughs> Sadly, we didn't film. Sadly, we didn't film. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly it just came in some really really heavy weather and we are quite wind exposed here. Check out. Very soon it's over. I can see the sun on the other side, but yeah, our plan was to have dinner. Now it's just sitting in the tent. Luckily, we could manage to put up the tent before this came. <laughs> Here. 
No mosquitoes. dinner and the sun is going lower and lower it's really chilly in the wind so I think I'm looking forward to going to my sleeping bag that will be super nice And now we're going to see when Mickey like a gymnastic jumps out of the boat. Jumps out of the boat. <laughs> yes. That's you, you take the lion. That's you take the lion. Yes. Oh, and you forget your paddle. And you forget your paddle. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then you put down. Not the boat. backwards. <laughs> You're going to do the famous backflip. <laughs> what what can go wrong? just decide to carry the boats and everything around this small white water that's a little bit safer and there was some shallow rocks in the end of this river so we don't want to risk that the boats get stuck on them Anyway, it's the carry boat. Anyway, <laughs> big boat man. Blue boat girl. <laughs> Hello, Matt back again. Today I'm going to review my hat. Uh, it's not that hat uh, I have on there, but you can see it over there. It's orange. It's, it's a good color. Stay, Stina hates it, so I love it anymore. Over and out. Oh, the order Filming. Filming. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Behind? Thank <laughs> you. 
So this upper river is not the most super extreme wilderness area, but it's much less people here along this river than there is in Rapa Valley or definitely much less people here than if you compare to Kungsleden. And I don't really know if there is people that travel along this river every year, actually. Maybe just a few persons coming with a canoe or with a pack raft or with a boat until the rapids start and then go fishing along the river. I don't really know. I don't see some fresh tracks from fireplaces or it just... It's very nice feeling. Now the boats are folded and we're starting the real pack part of the pack raft tour. So this is more pack than raft. And it's warm. And we don't really know what we are doing or where we're going. <laughs> we must check. I think it's brown bear shit. I think so. Maybe an old brown bear shit. Oh, yes. All these white flowers, this one, are cloudberry flower. So soon we have orange, very nice tasty berries. Good bra. Some part of the portages are wet and muddy and bushy and some parts are like this. You're walking on a dry ridge through a pine forest. This is easier. But when you haven't been in the area before, you don't know. So then you just had to try the narrow.
Finally, we got some mosquitoes. <laughs> we are away to the home trip. Now I'm back home again and what I've learned from this tour is it's quite heavy to carry everything. When you're hiking along the river, it's dense forest, we didn't have any trail, so it was a little bit difficult. This is my camera gear. This is six and a half kilo. So I carry six and a half kilo just for making the YouTube videos. So I do that. And I think you should subscribe to this video because I do this for you and then you can subscribe and help me with that so we get more subscribers to the videos because I see that a lot of you are not subscribers. Anyway, I'm happy that you're looking at the video. Now we're going to look at my backpack. It's a seek outside something. I love it. I really love it. It's, it's a frame backpack. We will come back to the backpack later this summer when I use it a little bit more. I have one of these foldable chairs. This was too much. I shouldn't brought that. Rain jacket, super important. Rain pants, super important. A bag for that, not important. This is a towing line. Uh, this is good if you know that you're going to paddle white water. We carried the white water, so this was not necessary. A kind of Leatherman. These tools are heavy. When you need them, you like them. You, when you need them, you, want, you really want them. And but if you don't need them, they're just too heavy. I want this with me, of course. Here, electric pump. With this, you can put air into the boat and you can put air into your sleeping mat. This is 100 gram, 150 gram, maybe something like that. Oh, I don't know if it's good or not. It helps a little bit. Toothbrush, very good. Toilet paper, never without toilet paper. Sunglasses, I didn't use them. So that was too much. 
when you pack for pack rafting tours, put a big waterproof bag inside your backpack. This backpack should be waterproof, but I always want to be safe. Here, I have a thermo jacket. I love this. You should have a thermo jacket with you. Warm clothes. And I also have this wool pullover. So I was warm. This is garbage. Leftover bread. I didn't have too much food and I didn't have too less food. When you make a tour like we did, we didn't really know how long this route was. And then it's good to always have some extra food. Annie follow me, so I had two dog booties. It's good because they can have a cut in their feet. I have a coffee pot, uh, aluminium coffee pot. Uh, with this one I can make hot water, I can make coffee of course or, or whatever. This is really, really good. I have my Tokes cook system here. You know the small woods, wood gas stove. The wood gas stove was not necessary. We made fire. If I'd been alone, I shouldn't take the coffee pot. I should only take this small Tokes uh, pot. I put a link in the description to this. This is 750 milliliter and I actually like it very much. It's quite new for me, but I really love it already. The stove, I didn't use it. We make fire on the ground. I'm in Lapland. It's no problem right now for make, starting for forest fire. Later in the season, it's probably better with uh, with a gas stove or something. So the wood stove was too much. I also brought alcohol to the alcohol burner in the wood stove, so I could use it. That was too much. The knife I usually use is this very, very small knife from Mura. I don't remember the name of it, but this knife, if I find a link somewhere, I put it down here to this knife. This knife is really good and it's, it's very lightweight actually. It looks like a toy, but for hiking tours or tours like this, this is what you need. I also have a knife on my Leatherman, but the knife on the Leatherman I use for a lot of different things, like not food stuff. I don't want to use that for food stuff. This is my food knife. Dog food. I had a dog with me, Annie. When I packed, I was in a hurry, so I just put up a lot of dog food because I think she need a lot of food, but she just eat half of it. So next time I probably measure it and don't need to carry so much. I was talking about my 200 gram extra chocolate during the whole trip and Andrea and uh, Mick and Melina, I think they was looking forward to my secret chocolate. It's here, it's proof. So I kept it, I didn't give it to them. Extra food, always good. Okay, I carry several two kilo drones or more. I didn't use it, it was too windy. It's two days, I could have checked the weather forecast and I could have recognized that it will be windy, leave the drone home. Reparation kit for the boats. First aid kit, really good. This first aid kit, you don't buy them complete. You buy a bag and then you put into the bag what you want. If you like me to make an uh, overview what I have in my first aid kit, I have several different first aid kits. I have a small one when I'm out like this, and I have a big one that I use when I'm out on guided tours with bigger groups. And I have a special one for winter use when I am out with dog teams. If you want, I can go through the most necessary things that I have in my first aid kit. Yeah. 
If I read the weather forecast, I could understand that I shouldn't need this. This is a mosquito thermal cell thing. I didn't use that. I also have some of this mosquito preparation. I had a tent, big Agnes copper spur one. My clothes, long johns, extra pullover, extra socks. This in combination with my rain clothes and then I can continue because if I fall in water I'm wet and then I can use this in combination with my rain clothes and then I'm dry for a while. I'm dry. And finally the sleeping bag. This is a very very cheap sleeping bag. I use this when I'm doing tours, when I'm maybe having fire, when I'm I have a lightweight down bag that I'm more uh, restrictive to when I use it because they are so expensive. This is $50 maybe, 500 crowns. So I use this a lot. And an expert airman. So I should have taken a lighter sleeping bag actually also. Now my dogs start holding again. They're always holding when I try to make videos. Total weight of all my stuff when I checked it here is around 24 kilo with the boat 25 kilo with the boat the boat is four kilo i think that was all for me today i i hope you learned something from my rush through my gear i don't know but i just wanted to put this into this video i ask you again please subscribe give a thumb up Share this video with your friends or other videos that we have. It's very helpful for our YouTube channel. And stay tuned. We really work hard to make one video each week. We will try to do that this summer. But it's quite hard work for us. But we'll try. And enjoy the summer. See you.